Welcome to AGPR 201, Basic Soil Science. My name is Jerry Check, and I'll be your coordinator and instructor for this course in distance learning. The format of this course is going to be that you will receive a packet of materials, which will include uh, videotapes, as well as a lecture handout, laboratory assignments, and study or review questions. As we go through this course, I'll be pointing out to you when each of those particular pieces of material will be utilized or how they'll apply to this class. What I would like to do to start this course is to go through the course syllabus or outline with you and point out how you're going to be evaluated, uh, what the format of this class is going to be, and the basic content or overview of the material to be included in this basic soil science course. In your instructional packet, you should have a course outline. That course outline is something that I'm going to review with you at this time. Although I'm very comfortable that you can read the course outline as well as myself, I'm going to go through and read some of these parts and then discuss each of them with you. This is a five credited course. It is taught within the Agricultural Science and Business Program at Walwell Community College. Students in turf management, agricultural science, and agricultural business, as well as irrigation technology, complete this course as a part of their two-year associate degree programs. This is an introductory soil science course that is designed to give the student an understanding of soil structure, composition, and texture, and physical characteristics of the soil as related to temperature, water, and other environmental controls. Emphasis in this course is placed on studying the soil from a land use and management perspective in addition to the basic characteristics or scientific principles involved in a, the field of soil science. There is some chemistry utilized in this class. The type of chemistry, chemistry that is utilized will be both inorganic and organic. When we're studying the soil, especially the mineral component of the soil, we're dealing with inorganic types of chemistry principles. When we are dealing with the organic fraction of the soil, as well as the action, degradation, and those things such as pesticides uh, take, that take place in the soil, we're dealing with organic chemistry. Now, I realize that not everyone taking this course will have had previous background or exposure in chemistry, but it is important, and as I go through, I will not make the assumption that you would know the symbols for the elements and those types of things, and I will always be sure to write out the symbol for the element as I talk about it, or if I'm talking about a particular compound, the uh, symbolism for that will also be denoted as I go through and, and discuss that particular compound. This, the laboratories for this course uh, have been videotaped for you, and in, in completing the laboratories, what you'll be required to do is you'll have a laboratory handout in front of you. That laboratory handout will have some material in there that you need to read prior to the time you watch the videotape. On the videotape, you will see myself going through and demonstrating that particular lab and the information that is to be learned from that lab. As I do demonstrate the procedures utilized in the lab, you will be able to record the data that we, re that we generate as a result of that lab. With this data, you will then be able to go through and complete your laboratory handout which means that you will have data generated, be able to work the problems uh, where appropriate as they're assigned in the laboratory handout, and you'll also be able to answer the review questions that occur, that occur at the end of these laboratory handouts. As an instructor, I will be available to you uh, both via email as well as voicemail, and those numbers and, and my email address will be uh, a part of this packet that you receive. To give you a better feel for this class, I'm going to go through and discuss with you some of the specific outcomes or objectives that I see you being able to obtain as a result of completing this course. The textbook for this class is one that's utilized by not only this community college, but many other colleges and universities. Uh, the, na the name of the textbook is The Nature and Properties of Soil. It's, in its tw currently in its 12th edition, and the most recent publication is 1999 you will be required to purchase this textbook as a part of the materials for this class in that there are specific reading assignments in this book. In discussing the course objectives which you have in front of you on your course syllabus, the first one is, uh, is to identify the components, the three components of, this, of all soil systems and the relationship to each other. This is a part of the first introductory lecture for this class. 
In there, we will be discussing the three components or phases, SN being the solids, the liquid, and the gaseous components of the soil, and how they interrelate to each other, and how other physical characteristics of the soil are determined by them. Although this course is not specifically focusing on mineralogy, you'll see from course objective number two that we are going to recognize at least the basic structure of rocks and minerals and how that relates to soil formation and development. The types of rock and mineral matter that we have in a soil do have a very direct influence upon the development of that soil and what particular type of soil will form as a result of the soil weathering and development processes. There's a unit in the course on organic matter there is definitely a living entity of the so included in the soil. That living entity are the uh, both macro and microorganisms which exist in the soil, and they are very important to us from a standpoint of the overall aspect of soil fertility and management. So this organic matter, uh, we will look at that from the standpoint of what goes into the soil, what becomes a semi-stable portion of the organic material in the soil, and what is the importance of maintaining a healthy or good content of organic matter in a soil.